Hello everyone. In this video, I show you how to create a simple program to select data in the GUI and then display it. Basically, the structure is always the same. So this program can also be used as a template for other programs. I will divide the code into the following areas. First, we start with the declaration of the variables. Then we create a selection screen. Then we get some data from the database. Then we create this half table. Next, we call some methods for the function list or display settings and columns. Last, we display this half table in the GUI. Okay, so let's start with the declaration. Today, I use the table sp fly and for this I write table sp fly and with this command the program knows every column of this table and I use one column in my select selection screen so I need this command next the Darf table, it's, oops, it's type ref2 cl sarf table. Then the function list, it's type ref2 cl sarf functions list next the display settings type ref to cl solve display settings and last the columns it's type ref2 cl solve columns table then press pretty printer Next, we create a selection screen. For this, we write selection screen begin of block block one. Then I write selection screen end of block block one. And in this block, we create a select option. So I write select options. S care ID or SB fly care ID. So we check the program. Okay, looks good. Next, we fetch some data from the database. So I write select from SPFly into table at data LT data where care ID in s care id and this is important because if the the user picks a special care id then this selection should be in our where clause
next step is the SARF table. CL SARF table. And here I call the factory method. And I write here importing R SARF table. equals sarf changing t table equals lt data this is the internal table of our selected data next the uh, function list i write function list equals sarf get functions and next I write function list set or and the function list are is the icon group for example, if you want to do an Excel export or if you use some layout options and so on. Next, we set uh, some display settings. So I write display settings equals sarf get display settings. And next, I write uh, display settings and I call here the method set striped pattern. I use this always in my programs. Looks nice. And I write here if sarf c bool sub. True. Next, the columns. Columns equals sarf get columns. And in the next line, I Call here the set optimize method. So I write columns set optimize. So all columns will be optimized. The right here, up, up, through. And last, we call the display method to display the SARF table in the GUI. Okay. So let's pretty print and check the code. Okay, there's uh, an error. Get functions. Okay, there is a C missing functions. So let's check the code again. Looks good. And activate the code and execute the program. And here we see our select options. Our select option, the carrier. So let's uh, execute the program without the selection and we see the whole entries of our table SP fly. And let's go back and pick a carrier. For example, uh, LH for Lufthansa and execute the program again. And we see here only the records with the airline LH Lufthansa. So 
but we see here uh, there is no text there's only the field name and we can set this text we click on the menu go to and text elements then on selection texts and we see here the name here we can write our own text or we can use the dictionary reference i check this and i press the button uh, enter the key enter and we see now the text airline we activate the code and go back and let's uh, call the program again and now we see here the airline text and now we can pick the uh, carrier again and run the report the program and we see our Lufthansa entries okay that uh, was it this is uh, a template for simple reports you can uh, join uh, different tables if you want you can extend the select options um, with all columns uh, which are available in our internal table and yes that was it already and if you like the video i would appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up feel free to leave me a comment i'm always happy to read it if you like my channel i would appreciate a subscription i hope to see you again in one of my next videos thank you and see you soon